Okay. Cool. Yes, hello, Matt Class with Team A Blue Tech here uh, at the Marsec West event here in San Diego, 2024 uh, iteration. We are here with one of our member companies, uh, Deepwater Explorers, DWE for short, and uh, they have some fantastic new technologies in the camera space, and I'm going to introduce you to Jir Jiraho, Joseph, who will tell you a little bit more about what makes their technology awesome for the maritime defense and security space. Hi, so thanks for the introduction, Matt. Um, so we're Deepwater Exploration. Our goal is to create essentially subsea vision systems for computer vision applications. Uh, our solution combines both hardware and software together. And so starting with our cameras, the first thing that you notice is their size. They're incredibly small, but also incredibly powerful and very high depth resistant. This model here can go to 1000 meters, but we also have a model over here that can go full ocean depth at 12,000 meters, which is 40,000 feet. So this makes them very versatile, uh, but also because of their smaller size, you can attach them to multiple vehicles, have a multi-cam setup very easily. Now, right here, we're demonstrating really three of our core technologies. Um, the first of which is our precision sync. This is two separate camera streams. Uh, as you can see over here, they're not connected together. They're two separate streams. And we have a stopwatch, and we wrote this little software that allows us to stop it at any time. And as you can see, it is synced really precisely. And that's one of the technologies that enables our camera to have that precision control. So essentially, you can have multiple cameras all together synced. Uh, you can also sync it with other sensors. So if you have sonar, IMU, temperature, humidity, all that can come together. Just gives you that precision. The second technology here to um, demonstrate is our Aquagon technology. So typically in underwater environments, uh, customers uh, and would use like a above water machine vision camera, they would put it in water. That doesn't account for a different refraction of index of water, light bends differently in water, and as a result, not only do you get distortion, but you also get chromatic aberration. So you can kind of see the edges here, yeah, that, we'll do that discoloration. Quick. Yeah, so you're showing like, like right there, like right yeah, about there. Yeah, over here, and this is a live feed here, you can uh -huh. see here. Okay. Um, and so with our optics, which is our own design custom optics, it's a seven element lens, it eliminates chromatic aberration and distortion completely because it's designed for water. As you can see, it's a very sharp edge and there's virtually no distortion. Yeah. But what's more is if you go over here, you can see that the distance between these two cameras are pretty much exactly the same. So not only are you getting the same distance away, but you're also getting a wider field of view. So wide field of view with low distortion and a very sharp image. Cool. And so for computer vision applications, this means that all your lines are perfectly straight. You can get very high quality imagery, high quality data, high quality precision. And so combining the technology of the Aquagon and the precision sync technology comes our stereo setup over here. So here, this is an above water model here that we used to demonstrate. We have two of our cameras, an above water version of the Aquagon lens. And this is essentially like how our eyes see things, right? Our eyes have a fixed distance, and by comparing the difference between one eye and the other, we can see depth. And that's what we're seeing here. So. The colors here represent how close the objects are. The more red it is, as I move my hand close to the camera here, mm. you can see it turns red. Yep. So a complex shape like this, where a coral has a lot of different uh, elements to it, you can see which part is closer and which part is further away. I can go ahead and move this around. And That's you can so do this cool. in real time, CUDA accelerated uh, at about 20, 20 frames per second. And so this is really powerful technology. This is a non-passive way to map something in the ocean compared to sonar. Mm -hmm. So you're not disturbing any wildlife, but if you're using things like underwater mines and stuff, you won't disturb it because it's a completely passive system. And so that is the core uh, capabilities of our technology enabled both by the Aquagon and the capabilities of our stellar cameras. Excellent. Thank you, Joseph. Yeah, thank um, you. Would you like to introduce your team then? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Warren Chang. I'm the Chief Operations Officer for Deepwater Exploration. Excellent. I'm Kunal Singla. I'm the Chief Tech Officer for Deepwater Exploration. Excellent. I'm Viva Suresh. I'm the Head of Computer Vision at Deepwater Exploration. And here we go. And I'm Gwen Butterfield, and I'm Head of Business Development. Excellent. Guys, thank you so much for your uh, Overview of what you guys do, it's pretty fascinating. And so we're really happy to have you as members of TMA. Thank you for the explanation, Joseph. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah. Well done, guys. Yeah. Cheers.